A camera? I see. You're doing a movie about me. Or rather, about ants? Another one. It's not the first time, you know. You mean a movie that will explain our real lives? Well, we ants don't think like you, and we communicate with a chemical language. But if you want us to speak with your words, then why not try? Honeydew is delicious. These weird-looking scale insects spend their life sucking the sap of plants. They never stop, but they only digest parts of it. So many ants take what they excrete. It's still full of energy. Yes, it's easy food, and it's free. It means that we can feed on plants without having to eat leaves. When I get back to the nest, I will share this honeydew with the larvae and the young workers that don't go outside. The sugars in honeydew are not enough. Our larvae also need proteins to grow big. Every day, small groups of foragers, including me, go out to hunt insects for them. All of us in the colony had to work extra hard these last few weeks. It's a special time of the year. We need lots of food to produce the young queens. Come inside the nest, I'll show you. these larvae want food and more food. Do you see the fat ones over there? They're bigger than us already. They're future queens. They're fed more so they develop differently from workers. Look at the young queens. Aren't they impressive? Here you have the queen pupae. They're growing wings, unlike the workers. But young queens are not the only ones that can fly. Do you see the puny insects with the wings over there? They really don't look like us, but they are our brothers. I think... Uh, I think these males are good for nothing. Their head is too small, they never bring us food, and they can't even fight. Hey, maybe we don't do much work around here, but we males are essential. Without us, there's no reproduction and no future. It's just too bad we only live for a few weeks. We die soon after mating. That's why most people don't even know we exist. <gasps> Here comes our queen. She is the mother of us all. Every spring, it's chaos in this nest. And then the young queens and males leave, and it feels a bit empty. Nine years ago, I started this colony, far from the colony where I was born. One day, when I was only two months old, dozens of us young queens and males flew off. What was it like to fly? We workers will never know. Even us queens fly only a few hours in our lives. I went very far and saw so many things. It was amazing. But it was very dangerous. I think most of my sisters died, eaten by birds, carried away by the wind, or drowned in a puddle. I am one of the few survivors, and I mated with a male from another colony. A bit later, I landed on this tree and cut off my wings. So you could never fly again? Flying is not part of our lifestyle. 
Many other insects fly all the time, but we ants don't need to fly in our daily lives. We walk instead. You, you were on a branch? Then what happened? I looked for a shelter to lay my first eggs. Soon there were a dozen larvae to care for. I was really busy. Mother, was there nobody to help you? You worked all alone. Yes, like other ant queens, I started this colony by myself. I lived like a solitary insect for several long weeks. But at least I didn't have to leave my shelter and take risks. How did you get food for the larvae then? Young queens have very big wing muscles. After flying, we can break these down and give the proteins to the larvae. Was that enough? You didn't need to get more food outside? No, because in our species, young queens also stock large fat reserves before flying. That's why your sisters eat so much now. So my first larvae were never left unguarded. When they became adults, they started to forage outside. Those first workers died long ago, but since then many others have taken their places, like all of you. We workers make your life easier, right? Of course. I just eat the food you bring me, and I lay about 100 eggs every day. So that's why your abdomen became so big. It's full of eggs. Mother, you did everything opposite to us workers. You took a lot of risks at the beginning of your life when you were working alone. Whereas we risk our lives when we are old, going outside the nest to get food. That's true. But I didn't have a choice. Before founding this colony, I needed to mate and go far away from my colony of birth. Um, I have a question. Where is our father? Your father died after mating with me. But he left me with a few million spermatozoa that I keep alive in a little reservoir inside my body. That's so cool! Our family has a sperm bank! Yes. Every time I lay an egg, I open my sperm bank to release a few spermatozoa, and one fertilizes the egg. So you can lay thousands of eggs for many years and not have to mate again and again? Yes, yes. And I can also control the sex of my children. During a few weeks of the year, I lay eggs without opening my sperm bank, and they become males. In ants, males only have the DNA of their mother. They have no fathers. Now I understand why we do not see males more often. These young ones only stay a short time before flying off. The rest of the year, there are only females in the colony, mostly workers, 